What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, thank you for joining us. Now today we're talking about a sneaker that is kind of iconic in a lot of ways. And in my opinion, a must have for a sneaker collector, someone who's into the history, especially if you are into this particular brand. Now I haven't talked about many New Balances on my channel, but I'm hoping to change that because I feel right now the New Balance Lifestyle releases are absolutely killing it and it continues with this pair here. Today we are talking about the New Balance made in the USA 990 V1 in a ridiculously dope gray colorway. Yes, they feel as good as they look, I'm telling you. Now, before we get into the finer details, let's first take a closer look. Right, guys now you've seen a closer look at these bad boys before we get into it thank you for joining us if you are new here to the returning subscribers you guys are my favorite always appreciate you guys coming back if you're new here consider hitting the like and subscribe joining the family on the road to 10,000 subscribers where we talk about sneakers and sneaker related things all day on this channel also helpful links down in the description below protective shoe spray to keep your kicks clean as well as my favorite sneaker books as well as all of my camera gear that I use to make these videos so if that's interesting you can come check that out down in the description below I very much appreciate that now we are talking about the new balance 990s which is an iconic model silhouette if you will there's been many versions and it continues to just get better and better it seems with the 990s other than the 574s probably my favorite new balance silhouette of all time so when i saw these v1 990s made in the usa i already knew it was a must have because if you're not familiar, the Made in the USA, much like the Made in England or Made in UK lines that New Balance does, are the same release, same shoe that you know and love, but done up to a higher standard. Materials construction, it's just it's just better. Now you do pay for that, as these do ring in at around $200, sometimes more depending on the model, but in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it, starting with the presentation. So you get a super dope retro blue box that's really thin actually, and I'm assuming this is how they used to come. And it's, it's just got this thin kind of very retro feel to it. And then you get what is, in my opinion, one of the coolest things about this release, and that is a really dope suede carry bag, which has all of the 990 version releases on it. Nice graphic work done on that shoe carry bag. And then you get the shoes themselves, which came unlaced. And there was something about the way these felt. When I first picked them up, it was kind of like an unstructured feel, but it still felt super solid. And it just felt, I mean, it felt amazing. It felt like a, the very high end shoe that it is. And thankfully, you know, 200 bucks is still 200 bucks, but you're not going crazy on the price for these. And then I laced them up and put them on and it fit like, a glove it fits so well i went with my true size for those of you that are wondering i went true size with these and just the, but it wasn't so much just the length or the width that comes with the territory that's I, I it fit like i remember most 990s fitting it's just these just felt extra special for some reason i don't know if it's the suede around the interior i, I don't know what it is it just feels good the midsole feels fantastic. It feels like a shoe that is going to last and look good for a very long time. And that's something that you would come to expect with this line, this made in USA line. And New Balances in general, you know, this thing is gonna wear in and look good, hopefully, for the long term. And I mean, it really does feel that way. And, and another really dope thing about this release is they give you so many laces. There's a big wad of laces here. You got dark gray, light gray, red, and then like I said, you get the white laces as as well so they're really doing a lot for you at this price point with this release making it special making it memorable and and i very much appreciate that now the, the colorway itself is super dope it's a gray and white aesthetic which is very easy to wear with all kinds of different fits and looks so versatility wise this shoe has got you covered and i just can't get over the quality of this suede. So we're gonna talk about construction, the material uses here. This suede feels phenomenal. I mean, I've had some other shoes recently 
that have some really nice suede overlays and details, but this one is just, it's the softest, the smoothest, the best feeling kind of short hair suede I've ever felt on a sneaker or maybe in a long time. You know, it's hard to keep up with all these releases, but I also really love this reflective heel tab here with the New Balance stitched in with the nice embroidery there. The mesh even feels fantastic. Everything feels great. The laces are fantastic as well. This nice knit ropey lace. I, I love the way that looks. I love the way that feels. Again, giving it more of that higher end kind of crafted aesthetic that this shoe goes for. Midsole, kind of a nice off-white there. Heel counter, same thing. Again, comfortable, not like your Ultra Boost Yeezy or React Foam type of feel, but solid, stable comfort. I mean, blows away many sneakers that don't have like Ultra Boost or React Foam in them because I feel like that's kind of become the standard for comfort is that squishiness. This is a different style of comfort and it's a comfort that I think will serve you better over the long haul in my opinion. Now while the shoe is mostly suede, you do get a nice little leather New Balance end right there and I will admit that leather isn't as nice as some other leathers I've seen, but it's a small piece. It's just the it's just the end. It's not necessarily an integral piece to the shoe and how it's going to look and wear over the long term. So I'm not not worried about that per se, but it's still nice. It still looks great. And then right behind that, you've got the version one tab. Letting you know this is the 990 V1. Obviously, there are other versions in my opinion. I mean, it's almost hard to argue with why you would even make a new one after this. It looks so good. It just fantastic. I love it. At the top of the tab here, you've got the New Balance stitched in, made in USA, of course, denoting that it's a special release. And then at the back, it says New Balance USA, Boston Mass. It's got a little serial number made in the USA. So lots of attention to detail. Everything I mean, the stitching, it's unbelievable. It looks fantastic. Everything is perfect. I mean, I also have a pair of Nike Air Force Ones collab with 1017 Elix. And those were uh, one and a half times more expensive than these. And I saw some visible glue marks on those shoes. That was annoying as hell. This one is a completely different story. This one looks flawless. There are a couple of those little threaded loose ends that you see, which is kind of a mark of the tailoring because these are made by hand, if I'm not mistaken. That is kind of part of the charm of it. I don't necessarily look at those as a flaw. These things are overall just perfect, and I definitely recommend them to you if you are into New Balance, if you are into historic, iconic sneakers, if you want something that's a staple in your collection that you can wear and be and wear with pride and be proud of. This is not just another throwaway pair of 990s. This is special. And that does it for me, guys, on this video of the New Balance Made in the USA 990 V1s in a gorgeous gray and white colorway. I mean, it just looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. It is fantastic. I highly recommend you try to get your hands on it. So if you're feeling them, let me know down in the comments below if you have a pair, if you want to get a pair, what you think about these pairs. If you are familiar with the Made in the USA lines, let me know down there so we can chop it up in the comments. I'd love to get back to you guys. Also, remember, if you are new here, to hit that like and subscribe. I very much enjoy and appreciate your guys' likes, comments, and engagement. You guys are the reasons why this channel it does as well as it does, why it's growing, and I wanna thank you every chance I get. So thank you, and I'll thank you down there in the comments as well. Consider joining the family if you haven't already. Also, all my helpful links down in the description, favorite sneaker books, protective shoe spray, all the camera gear I use, as well as a link to cop for these bad boys if they are still available. You can find all that down in the description below. And with that being said, hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, whenever you are seeing this, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.